everybody feels sorry for me, right? Pray for me. Right under it. Smith and Wesson SD40 VE. Bad dude. Bam! What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Dog Pound. I am M Dog coming to you once again from our beautiful range here at the Bridgeville Rifle and Pistol Club in the little country town of Bridgeville, Delaware. The town that claims if you lived here, you'd be home now. And I have a pretty cool video planned for you guys today. But before we get into today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you'd smash that like button, share this video with a like-minded, patriotic, freedom-loving friend or two, and then consider smashing that subscribe button so you never miss out on any new content that gets uploaded to the channel. It only takes a couple seconds of your time, and it doesn't cost you a thing. But it's the best way for you to show your support for what we do. And if you enjoy exercising your Second Amendment rights and freedoms, and I know you do, or you wouldn't be here right now, then you won't be disappointed. You can also follow me over on Patreon and on Facebook at The Dog Pound with M Dog. And now I'm posting videos over on Rumble at Dog Pound with M Dog. And that's all one word, and it's spelled just like you see it right here at the bottom of your screen. Now, let's get into today's video. Today, I'm doing a 300 round review follow-up video on the pistol that became overshadowed by a very popular alternative chambered in the same caliber and by the same company. I'm talking about the SD40VE chambered in 40 caliber from Smith & Wesson. And as you can see, the weapon is clear. The SD40 was introduced in 2012 as a replacement for the Sigma series of pistols. It was designated as a self-defense pistol, which is where the SD in the name came from. Smith & Wesson introduced the SD40VE and considered it the value addition and offered consumers another option at an affordable price. That's where the VE uh, comes in the name, the SD40VE for value edition. So the SD40VE is a full-size striker-fired semi-automatic pistol. It has a double-action safety trigger, front and rear white dot dovetail sights, polymer frame, stainless slide and barrel, and a textured grip. If you guys saw the first video I did, you remember how impressed I was with the SD40VE. In that video, this pistol performed great, and once I got used to the trigger pull, I was able to tighten up the groups, and I really do enjoy how the SD40VE feels in your hand. 
Sometimes you can't determine the quality of a handgun by the price tag it wears. I think Canik, Rock Island, IWI, uh, and many modern day rock stars in this industry today are living proof of that. So let's take a look at the specs on the Smith & Wesson SD40VE chambered in one of my favorite rounds, the 40 caliber. There are many who consider the SD40 and the SD9 VE pistols to be subpar to Smith & Wesson M&P line of pistols. However, what about those shooters who aren't happy with the M&P lineup? There are some shooters that like the old Sigma series of pistols because of its similarities to the Glock pistols. Well, I'm a glass half full kind of guy, so I see the SD40 VE as sort of a hybrid of the Sigma series and the popular M&P line of pistols. If the M&P lineup doesn't float your boat, then the SD40 VE may be exactly what you're looking for when it comes to a Smith & Wesson 40 caliber that doesn't empty your bank account. The SD40 VE comes with two 14 round or two 10 round magazines, depending on the laws of your state and if you're in a free state or not. One good thing, if you own an old Sigma 40, those, those mags will work in the SD40 VE. The SD40 VE has a barrel length of 4.0 inches, overall length is 7.2 inches, and the unloaded weight is 22.4 ounces, and it has an MSRP uh, roughly $389, and that's going to depend on your location. One of the most common complaints about the SD40 VE is the trigger. And I'll admit, it's definitely not the best trigger, and it does fall short even compared to the MMP stock trigger. But it's also not the worst trigger I've ever dealt with either. If you're not satisfied with the trigger, there are aftermarket options like the Apex trigger that you can pick up fairly cheap, some less than 30 bucks. And that may be enough to make this one of your favorite carry pistols, or you could be like me and just be happy leaving it all stock. The ammunition that I'm going to be using today is the 165 grain hollow points from LAX Ammunition. And this is some of the same ammo that I used in a video I did featuring the MMP 40 cal. That was a few months ago, and it performed great on the MMP. I have a couple of mags already loaded up and ready to go. So let's go make some magic happen, and I'll see y'all in a bit for my final thoughts. Let's go. We're gonna have a little bit of fun. This is the SD40 VE Smith & Wesson. We are loaded up with, uh, these are 180 grain, full metal jacket, uh, flat points from uh, 2 a Warehouse Capital. I believe that's what it was. We ordered them in bulk, so I think it was a capital cartridge or capital ammunition. But these are 180 grain. We got some of them left over, so I'm gonna get rid of them, and then I'm gonna get into shooting uh, some different rounds from LAX. So we're at 20 yards, shooting the target, the bad guy target on the right. 20 yards, uh, like I said, I don't have a whole lot of time in, uh, 300 rounds about it so let's sling them hope for the best
I know I pulled that one. All right. Well, the cool thing is, not only do we have the SD40 VE to play around with today, we brought the gun that kind of overshadows it. This is the 1.0, 1.0 Smith & Wesson 40 m and using the same ammo, same distance. It's not the best for 20 yards, but it's not bad. They're all on the bad guy. But there's a huge difference in the triggers. There's no doubt that the SD40VE trigger, that long double action uh, pull, is, is much, it's just something to get used to compared to the M&P. So it just depends on what you like and what your budget allows you to like. So both of them, great pistols, but I figured it'd be a good day to show a little bit of both of them. So we're here at seven yards, and um, we're going to see if we can't do some spinner action. What do you think? There we go. Wow. Shooting under it. There we go. <laughs> that little thing is hard to hit with these uh, double action triggers. There we go. I'm trying to hit it when it's moving. All right, and we're empty on that one. Oh well, not the best, but that little thing is four inches, and even at seven yards, uh, with that long trigger pull, kind of makes it a little tough. Give me a break. How about we do the same thing with the MMP? Right under it. Oh, got a little crazy on now. I got to hit that rod. Oh, well, look at that. You couldn't do that again. All right, now we're shooting. These are 165 grain Jack of the Hollow points from LAX Ammunition.
It's a nice shooting pistol, that's for sure. Can't complain there. It definitely doesn't shoot like a $400 gun. So go right over to the M&P 40. You know, the only reason why I got this one out today is just because I need to run through some ammo that I wanted to try. And any reason I can get to get the guns out to shoot them, I mean, they're a lot of fun. 40 cal. Other than a 10 mil, 40 cal is up there with my, one of my favorite calibers. But the M&P was just an added treat I think I, I thought I'd share with you guys today and uh, run some rounds through it and kind of do a rough side-by-side -side with the SD40 VE. Mm. I tell you, you cannot complain about a Smith & Wesson. I've just always had great luck with them. Whether you love them or hate them, most people that I know love them. Um, not everybody loves the M&P line of pistols, but I, you know, most everybody loves the Smith & Wesson wheel guns. So either way you look at it, Smith & Wesson's a great company. can really tell a difference in the trigger, huh? Big difference in the trigger between the M&P and the SD40. Uh, that double action trigger, that long trigger pull, they, uh, they made so many great improvements with the M&P on the triggers. Unbelievable difference. All right, so we're back here at 15 yards again. And we'll run one or two more mags. I ain't made up my mind yet. Depending on what the weather's doing. It looks like it's kind of fickled right now. I don't think it, I don't think it knows what it wants to do. So as long as it lets me, we're going to stay here and we're going to plink. I enjoy this firearm. Fifteen through the MMP. A lot of fun to shoot. If 10 millimeters a little bit too much bite for you, check out the 40s if you haven't ever experienced one. A lot of fun. All right, so well, I figured we'd have some fun here at 10 yards. I don't know if I can hit that little four inch spinner or not with this one. Um, I don't have enough practice with it yet, but we're going to give it a whirl, you know, give it a whirl. Yeah, I got, I got jokes today.
Ah, not too good, but I was hitting it, so can't complain. That is not the easiest trigger to be extremely accurate with, so it is what it is, folks. Well, my peeps, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It actually ended up being a pretty nice day out. Uh, I was worried there for a little bit and dodged a few raindrops, but we made it through. And I hope you enjoyed the time out here on the range with the Smith & Wesson SD40 VE. For less than $400, you can have a really nice double action Smith & Wesson semi-automatic pistol. And as I said, it's not the trigger that the M&P have. And anyone who's shot M&P and shot this one can attest to what I'm saying. It's just different ballpark, kind of like major league, minor league, as far as trigger goes. But still a good shoot. It's a good self-defense weapon. Uh, so that would be a plus. You know, you wouldn't have to worry about, you know, some kind of safety issue with your trigger. But either way, hope you enjoyed the video. Unfortunately, it's that time where I got to say my goodbyes, or at least I hear, and then I'll see you in the kennels. But for now, I love you all. God bless you and thank you all for being here with us and supporting us. Smith & Wesson SD40 VE. Bad dude. See you at the kennels for my final thoughts. Welcome back to the kennel. So my final thoughts on the 300 round review of the SD40 VE from Smith & Wesson chambered in one of my favorite calibers, the 40 cal. Whether you're interested in a 40 cal or a 9mm Smith & Wesson, more specifically the SD40 VE or the SD9 VE, it's my opinion that you'd be getting a good pistol for a great price. Are there other pistols on the market today that are great pistols for an amazing, affordable price? Sure there are. You've seen some of them right here on this channel. But I'm focused on this pistol in this video. And do I think this pistol is a great pistol for the money? Absolutely I do. It's kind of like the old saying about beauty, where beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Well, the value and quality of a firearm is going to vary from shooter to shooter, and I think both here in the SD40 VE. Ultimately, only you can determine if this pistol would be right for you and your specific needs. It's just my job to do the best I can to show you the basic workings of the pistol and then to show you how it performs out here on the range. Based off of that, I can give you my personal and honest opinion on the farm with hopes that it can somehow help you make an informed decision when you go to purchase one. That doesn't make me an expert on the firearm. That just makes me someone who happens to have one and has developed an informed opinion. I'm no different than any of you, and if you're like me, I don't have money to waste on things I know nothing about. So if these videos help you out, then it's all worth it to me. If you guys would like to pick up a Dog Pound t-shirt, check out the info here on your screen and you can send a PayPal payment to the address listed below. They're Gildan shirts, so they're great quality with top-notch artwork on the front and back. Make sure you include your size, your name, and your shipping address in the comments section of your PayPal. And if you are one of our Patreon supporters, you will automatically receive a 15% discount on any of our merchandise. If you need to contact us here at The Dog Pound, you can send us an email at thedogpoundwithemdog at gmail.com. And please don't forget to smash that like button on this video. And if you don't mind, smash that subscribe button so you get notified of any new content that gets uploaded to the channel. And thank you for being a part of our Dog Pound family. Thank you to our product sponsors who help make these videos possible. Steel's Gun Shop in Lewis, Delaware for everything they've done to support us since day one of this journey. They've been specializing in exotic firearms for over 50 years now, and they carry anything from newly released firearms up to firearms that are hundreds of years old with historical footprints dating back to the Revolutionary War. Even a couple with ties to major historical events like the Battle of Little Bighorn 
and one that belonged to Emmett and Bob Dalton of the Notorious Dalton Gang. Stop in and see them if you're in the area, or you can follow their page on Facebook. And tell them that them dog sent you, and you saw them right here on the Dog Pound. Thank you to Splatterburst Targets for supplying us with these very cool targets we use in all of our videos. If you don't have a place where you're able to shoot steel targets, then you might as well shoot some of the best paper targets on the market today. All of their targets are made right here in the U.S., so you'll be supporting a homegrown American business. Check out their website and get stocked up for your next trip out to the range. And thank you to my good friends at Ballastall Multipurpose Cleaner and Lubricant. Why trust anything but the very best to protect and preserve our precious tools of freedom? They are the original CLP, and they've been doing it since 1904, so you know they're doing something right. Check out their website for a complete lineup of their products and get stocked up today so you're better prepared for tomorrow. And as always, my beautiful people, spend time with those special people in your life. Time spent with them is always time well spent. May you live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. Shoot straight, shoot often, be safe, and God bless you and yours. I'm M Dog, and I'll see y'all right here next time on the Dog Pound. Smith & Wesson, SD40, VE, 40 cal. And yes, it may be cheap, but it's a bad dude. And for now, we gone. Boom.